One of the most exciting things about filmmaking, in my opinion, is working with all these different people. I would love to meet maybe tomorrow if you're if you're around, or and if you could, sh can you shoot me a a resume or <clears throat> something prior to our meeting? Is it, is it would that be possible? And in the film industry, I can't even begin to tell you how eclectic this group is. You have businessmen, you have artists, you have politicians, you have, I mean, the most egotistical group of people and the most humble and every color in the rainbow in between. And you're gonna put them all in a room and make them work together. I think at this stage in assembling the crew, it's really the keys. And what that means is it's the head of every department. The line producer initially was created to just keep an eye on the budget, but if you work in production, you find out that the line producer becomes enamored in all the departments. I've worked with Chet and Fletch for many, many years, and I have been with them almost from the very beginning. So you find the type of, of person that, first of all, that that it has the expertise to accomplish uh, telling the story photographically, but then also you have to work with this person for quite a long time, so you probably want to like the person as well. I would say that I'm definitely one of the first people to come on just because of the fact that I need usually a pretty decent amount of prep time in order to you know, it, 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 in order to get all the sets done. As a producer, it's your responsibility to bring that team together. Then, as the keys, as you've assembled the crew from the keys, it's their job to bring on the rest of the crew. I tend to work with people that I've worked with in the past. So I picked a fellow that I've worked with in the past who, who um, I've wanted to work with for a long time and haven't been able to work with him a lot, but I, when I did work with him, I had a great experience with him. On a smaller budget thing, the crew may be one other person, uh, but it's still a responsibility to that key uh, to bring that person on, because you know they want to bring somebody on that they've worked with before, that they've got a rhythm with, and, and that'll only help you as a producer. Um, you know, Time is money, and you want people to be able to communicate with each other and have an unspoken communication. And the only way you can do that is if people are comfortable with who they're working with. It'd be nice to have them, and <clears throat> I've heard lots of great things about them, but I don't, it doesn't have to happen, so. But you know what? I mean, if we're going to pay somebody, we're going to pay a grip, a no-name, nobody grip, the same amount that we're paying, because that's what we're doing with everybody. So if we're going to get him, we might as well get him and put him on second unit. It's going to cost us the same as anybody else. You just we'll say it would be, he'd be just a gaffer, gaffer, and you wouldn't have an electrician. Right. Okay. But he'd also have to know that he's going to, when that's not happening, he's going to help everybody else. That's that, true. I, I don't want a guy just standing there going, oh, I'm, I'm a gaffer. I'm a gaffer for a second unit. I'm not. Yeah. That's I don't true. think he'll throw that attitude, but I, let's, maybe not. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Cool. On a perfect day, you'll pick the people that, first off, know what they're doing, and second off, I like them as well, you know? That's a, a big a big thing that I, you deal with is, you know, they might be brilliant, but if they're mean, you don't like to hang out with them, then I don't want to be with them. I'd rather have someone I like who who isn't as good. And you'll find that as you go through the film business, even with the bigger name directors, if you start looking at the people on the on the um, credit list, it'll be the same people over and over and over again because these are a group of people that have started to work together who, who enjoy one another and they work back to back every film together. And that's what I tend to like to do is to work with the same people that I've had a good experience with. I've worked with some of the most talented people in the film industry and I don't want to work with them again. They may be the absolutely the best in the industry. I just don't want to work with them again because they didn't they took the fun out of the experience. It's important that you know who you're going to work with. You know, you know, you've looked at their resumes. Maybe you've worked with them in the past. You'd like to work with them, working with them. There are certain things that you, as you work with people, you come to like. And if you can't find that person again, you want to try and find a person that can maybe duplicate that or help replace that person. But this is, this is a fun part of the process, and it's all about pulling 
your friends together or your professionals that know the process and, and most importantly, you, it's people that you know you can work with. In the case of Big Game, we had the opportunity to bring back a lot of our friends that we enjoyed working with over the years. If you gather the right people around you, it can be an absolute oh, yeah. pleasure every day showing up on set. <laughs> one of the, uh, the gaffers that we used on uh, one of our workshops, he went on to now gaff um, Michael Bay's last film, but he's an incredibly talented person, but is also so fun to work with. And the objective of crewing your film is to try and get the most talented and the most fun people in the same group together. Once you've assembled crew, and you've brought everybody, you know, you know who the players are gonna be, then you, you bring everybody together in what's called a production meeting. Um, essentially, you, you, you know, if you have the luxury of doing it, you wanna you want bring the team together even before you get rolling so that you know that everybody's gonna be able to work together. Um, as production meetings start to roll out, it's really about pulling the team that you've assembled together, getting them to communicate, which is the, one of the most crucial elements of making a film effectively. For the most part, working on any film, um, I've never had serious problems with anybody, and it's been an absolute pleasure to work with all of those colors in the rainbow.